This story cracked me up. I first caught wind of it this morning, at least when I was working at the rec center, and I thought, okay, I have to look later to make sure that this is true. But I thought that I saw something that said Keyshawn Johnson confronting Justin Bieber about he did. speeding. Yeah, he did. No, I, I got to see this later. So I pulled up. This is the this is the uh, column that was on uh, around the league on NFL.com, and it's by Dan Hansis. He starts off by saying, We initially passed on the TMZ report of Keyshawn Johnson. Now, for those of you who don't know who Keyshawn Johnson is, former NFL player, he was a receiver, bad boy, diva receiver, whatever, wrote a book called give, Just Give Me the Damn Ball. So Keyshawn Johnson confronted pop star Justin Bieber under the well-worn principle of, quote, what happens in the gated communities of Calabasas stays in the gated communities of Calabasas. After all, Bieber is kind of the worst. And at that point, I thought, I'm going to keep reading this because this is funny. <clears throat> he says, Bieber, Bieber is kind of the worst. And given what we know about him, it's hardly surprising he uses his expensive sports cars to terrorize otherwise tranquil, upper-class neighborhoods. But now that NFL Hall of Fame running back Eric Dickerson has entered the picture, it's time to address. Eric Dickerson put on Twitter, I live in Calabasas too, and Justin Bieber needs to slow his butt down. Now, he didn't say butt, but obviously I can't say the other one. So then Dan Hanses continues. He says, greatness. According to TMZ, Johnson had just left a party Sunday night when Bieber zoomed by in his Ferrari at breakneck speed. That's what Johnson said. And then Keyshawn Johnson driving a Prius. This makes this even funnier because Priuses are small cars. And, he, and Keyshawn's about 6'3", I think. 6'3", 6'4", something like that. Dropped off his child at home and went to confront Bieber. Johnson is said to have called the police as well. Now, I can understand that, especially in a neighborhood with kids running around and things like that. Beaver reportedly hid from Johnson. I would hide too if I was a little white boy and uh, yeah. like these big football players, black football players are coming up. <coughs> so, I'd hide now and I'm 7 1 black boy. <laughs> <laughs> So Beaver reportedly hid from Johnson when the former NFL wide receiver came to the front door. He might want to do the same thing if he sees Dickerson. Justin Bieber is the worst. And remember, this this is the, this is what Dan Hansen wrote. This is this, I love it. And then update hours later, Dickerson wasn't done telling Bieber to slow down. So he puts this on Twitter. Hey Justin Bieber, I used to have a white Ferrari too, but I knew the speed limit in neighborhoods where kids played. And there's a picture of a white Ferrari. First of all, this cracked me up because this guy just keeps saying Justin Bieber is the worst. And he's busting around in a neighborhood at high speeds in a Ferrari. And I, I just, frankly, I don't care what you're driving. That is a good way to get yourself in prison for a long time. And somebody left a comment on NFL.com saying if he ends up with manslaughter in a state that requires time... Uh, time in jail for it. They said he's gonna look pretty sweet behind bars. Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, that that leads into a whole nother thing. What is wrong with these immigrants? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's they right, man. Come here and speed Those freeload too, Canadians coming down into our country. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speed do around about these immigrants yeah. coming in here and speed around just drive these California <laughs> neighborhoods in their Ferraris. You know what I mean? Saying, "Look, I'm in your country and I'm getting rich. What you gonna do about it? You know what's wrong with these immigrants?" You <laughs> he know? got booed at the Grey Cup a couple years ago, and the Grey Cup is the Super Bowl of the Canadian Football League, and he got booed at halftime when he came out, and that was his own countryman. But, I, dude, grow up. 